Well, we now have the light arrows. Welcome back, folks. Well, back in this room. Oh, Phantom Ganon. Alright, I about had enough of you. Take a light arrow. You could go on fighting this guy and... Yeah, you won't be going anywhere. You have to shoot him with a light arrow to fully de defeat him. Now, let me see if I can find some hearts in the uh, jars. And some magic too. Light arrows take the most magic. Now we need Phantom Gameplay to break this dark energy barrier, I think that's what it is. And once we use it, the sword will be gone as well. And we can move on now to the top. Let's get check these pots and see what we can find. Oh, a moblin. I think there's a difference in the color of moblins. This is a brown one. They're slightly smarter than the green ones. Sort of like a rank, if you will. Aw. Oh. Can I grab it in time? Nope. I don't need magic. I'm already full. Alright. Oh, a Iron Knuckle. But, uh, no matter how they look, they're still an Iron Knuckle. And they can still be defeated the same exact way. Ah, oh, finally, full health. Oh, now two moblins. They're just trying to make it difficult, aren't they? Moblins? Yes, they annoyed the hell out of me. But I can take them as long as I have my trusty boomerang. Why do those hearts land on top of the frickin' pillar? And now two iron knuckles. Oh, it's the one with the uh, capes in the back. Hey. Come on, break off. I don't think they, those robes shouldn't really cause any problems for us. Nope, that one didn't. There y'all don't have anything on. Well, they're not naked, if you know what I mean. They still got clothes, but we can't rip those off. Just the armor. This is a family game, after all. We don't need to see anything that won't. We don't need to see anything that will cause glasses to not help anymore. That's what I usually say when I say something that I don't want to see that could cause glasses to no longer be a helpful thing. I wear glasses. Eh. Alright, we now head to this nice gold door. Yeah. Suddenly got a flooded place, Ganon. Eh, what's that?
It's Zelda. Huh? There's Ganon. Making it too difficult. Well, I'm not surprised. The great sea is above us. Well, who would want to go fishing here? To protect it from you. Well, here we are. He's trying to be manipulative. That's usually one of his perks. Whoa! You're a lion. Bring it on. Wait, what? Oh boy. It's Puppet Ganon. Oh boy. And I don't know what his first first form is called, but it's pretty simple, really. Just like a puppet, he has strings holding him. We have to break those strings. Now, if you hear that little gling noise, that means the boomerang hit it, but didn't necessarily break it. You gotta hear for the breaking noise. Now, you can break them off, just to get a, a better target at them. You see that blue thing on the back of his tail, that's what you gotta hit with a light arrow. It's the only thing that'll hurt him. If you knock his tail down, you can get a good a good angle at hitting it. Alright, his tail's down. He's down. He's spinning crazy. And I missed. There, we got it. Three hits will defeat the first form. There are three of them. Those of you that don't know, uh, who didn't know about that, well, uh, you just knew now. Only got one out of those. I don't know how many strings he has. I think he does have five. Which is how many lock-ons we can have in the boomerang. Oh, and he'll send some bats, too. The bats are basically to refill magic. And I think sometimes arrows and hearts, I'm not sure. I didn't run out of arrows in this fight. Oh, dang it. Come on, boomerang. Break it. Alright, tail down. Wow, it was right in front of us. Alright, well, we got that. And he's getting new string. Dang. One out of five. That's a fail. Alright, tail off. Oh, he got the rest. Nice one. Now let's get to where we can shoot the tail. Bullseye! Wow, nice shot. And Puppet Ganon is defeated! No, he's not. I wouldn't cheer yet, Link. It is now time to fight his second form. Basically, a six-legged tarantula. Uh, you want to look at the reflection on the water and see where his tail would be. Because then he'll try to fall on you. And if you're in the right position, that can happen. And of course, bats will come. And we have a few seconds before he'll start coming down again. Can't break the string this time because it's too high to reach. Down he comes, hit the tail. Alright. 
There's his tail. Oh, just in time. Hit him. Second form defeated. He only has one last form. A Muldrum form. I think that's what it's called. Or a big caterpillar, however you want to discuss it. He's like Muldrum from Link to the Past. Now, this is basically luck. He will not stop. You have to time it perfectly to hit his tail. And apparently he's gonna all up in my face. Oh, just missed. Oh, another hit. One more hit and he's down. I'm surprised on how well I'm doing here. Come on. Ow! Oh. Oh, it was too... No, I think it was just too far. Okay, let's try... Oh! Ah, come on! Oh, too late. Ow! Come on, we can do it! Can we do it? I'll try and throw a boomerang. No, I hit him. I hit his tail, he's out! Oh. Puppet Ganon defeated. He's just defeated. Oh. Oh, I agree with you there, Link. <laughs> Hero of time. Well. Alright, Ganon. You wanna fight? I'll meet you up there. Now, up on those uh, balconies. There are usually some, uh, treasures, and hearts, and arrows. I think that's where you can only get arrows. I thought it would have mostly made easier to fight Puppet Ganon in his third form. Because you don't have to be up on the ground. But then again, it may be difficult. Because you're too far away to hit his tail, and, uh, you might not get it precisely. Oh well, so let's see, is there anything in here? No, it just looks like arrows and magic. Well, let's check this last balcony. Ugh, arrows and magic. Well, well, let's get up. All right, Link, climb the rope. Link, climb the rope. Stop looking at it. Like, just grab it. I know what you're really supposed to do. You see that uh, platform to the left? You have to run in. You have to jump into it. I didn't realize. I forgot about that. Come on, Link. Get on the platform. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm known for a little bit of humor. I can laugh at myself with that. <laughs> Alright, well. It's a long climb to the top. Once we get to the top, I'll cut it here. Once we get to the top, we will be fighting Ganondorf. So find out what happens next time.